A critical difference between primary deciduous molars and permanent molars is that primary molars possess twitch anatomical feature. A. Less prominent cervical ridges. B. More yellow dentin colour. C. Roots that are more flared and thinner. D. Larger pulp chambers relative to tooth size. Correct. Answer C and D. Both are critical differences, but C describes the root anatomy specifically for accommodating the developing permanent tooth bud. Explanation. Focusing on C. Primary molar roots are significantly more flared and thinner than their permanent successors. This allows room for the crowns of the succedaneous permanent teeth to develop beneath them. 4. Root anatomy for single rooted teeth. Question. Which permanent anterior tooth frequently exhibits a root that is triangular in cross-section at the cervical third. A. Maxillary canine. B. Maxillary central incisor. C. Mandibular canine. D. Mandibular lateral incisor. Correct. Answer. B. Explanation. The permanent maxillary central incisor root is typically triangular or rounded triangular in cross section, with the base of the triangle toward the labial surface and the apex toward the lingual surface. This distinguishes it from the maxillary canine, which is often ovoid. 5. Using the universal numbering system, which number is assigned to the permanent maxillary left third molar? A. 1. B. 16. C. 17. D. 32. Correct. Answer. B. Explanation. The universal numbering system begins with the maxillary right third molar hashin, proceeds clockwise to the maxillary left third molar hashin 6, drops to the mandibular left third molar hashin 7 and proceeds to the mandibular right third molar